Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of history, we shall discuss the Indus Valley Civilization, the part 2. In the part 1, we have discussed the, some of the important Indus Valley Civilizations. Now we shall discuss more about the Indus Valley Civilization. Okay, the other sites of Indus Valley Civilization. The part 1, you have discussed Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. Now we shall discuss the other sites. The first, next one is Chanhudaro. Chanudaro is a present place in Sindh of Pakistan. So it is famous for artisans or art people or painting people. They used to live in this place called Chanhudaro. That's why it is famous for artisans or the artists. Okay, particularly who was painting on the walls or seals etc. Or making the figurines etc. The next place is Banavali. So Banavali is in the present Hisar district of Haryana in India okay so the presence of barley was found out in Banavali in the Hisar district of Haryana so large quantity of barley were or the high quality of barley were found in the Hisar district of Haryana that is the place called Banavali moving on to next side that is Kalibangan I've already told you Kalibangan means black bangles were excavated from this side in Rajasthan so it was on the banks of the river Saraswati. Presently it has got dried up. Okay, we have Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati, Triveni, Sangamam, which will they will meet at a place called Triveni Sangamam in Allahabad of Uttar Pradesh. But we don't have Saraswati River, we have only Ganga Yamuna rivers. Right? So it was on the banks of on the rivers on the river Saraswati. Okay, so black bangles were excavated from Kalibangan in Rajasthan. Next is Lothal. So Lothal is a dockyard. So why it is called dockyard? Because it was a harbor for the ships to park their ships. Okay, that's why it is called as dockyard. So Lothal was a famous dockyard in present Ahmedabad of Gujarat. Next is Dolavira. And Dolavira is, Dolavira is also a place in Gujarat. It used to have many large reservoirs and all the drains were collected in Dolavira only. Okay. So all the large reservoirs were present in Dolavira of Gujarat. So these are some of the important Indus Valley civilizations sites. Next we shall move to the architecture of Indus Valley people. How they have architecture use their brain to develop the various houses or the various places or build the various buildings next we shall see the architecture of the indus valley people the, how they plan their towns so first is town plan so they had a well laid town planning all the houses used to be at rectangular in place okay all the streets were running at 90 degrees like we have in the western countries not in India but in the western countries we have the all the streets at right angles that is 90 degrees so they had a well laid town planning okay the king the kingly class used to live in a place called citadel okay after citadel the lower caste people or the lower uh, worker people they used to live after the citadel okay so they had a well laid town planning and all the streets or houses were at right angles to each other and they had a very good drainage system okay so all the drains were covered with slabs okay all the drains of the houses used to be collected into the main drain and finally into the large reservoir that we have seen in dolavira right so they had a well laid drainage system and even they used to have manholes okay so this is a, a very good feature of indus valley civilization next the houses so the most of the houses were made up of burnt bricks okay we can see in the mohenjadaro place right so most of the houses were made of burned bricks and they were well placed in a grid all of them were at right angles or 90 degrees with each other okay this is a very good feature of indus valley people we need to note down this okay next is worship so which of the gods they have worshipped who were the male and female gods we shall see now the first is the male god worship so they worship the incarnation of lord shiva and they called him pashupati nath mahadev okay you can see this seal seal means it is engraved on a stone that's why it is called as seal s-e-a-l okay 
this is the famous seal of the Pashupatinath Mahadeva who is considered as the male god of Indus Valley people. He sits in a yogic posture having three horned heads and surrounded by various animals. Okay. So this is a male god of Indus Valley people. Coming to female goddess, so they worshipped a mother goddess. Okay. So mother goddess was symbolizing fertility. Okay. So it was representing like a plant coming out of a woman's embryo so this was a depiction of that mother goddess okay so they worshipped her as mother goddess next they also worshipped some trees and animals so they in among the trees they have worshipped the famous people tree okay buddha also got enlightenment under people tree only okay they also worshipped the famous people tree we shall see in buddhism okay so people tree was worshipped by the indus valley people okay moving on to other objects of worship they also worshipped animals like bull tiger buffalo etc one horn unicorn all those were worshipped by the indus valley people we can see on these animals on the seals we have seen the pashupatinath mahadev seal right so moving on to the economic activity of the indus valley people so as far as agriculture is concerned they used to grow wheat barley peas etc okay some places uh, report that cotton was also grown like at mehargar in baluchistan province of pakistan okay there is a provision that they used to grow cotton also at mehargar in pakistan so along with uh, cotton they used to grow wheat barley and peas they didn't cultivate rice remember this indus valley people didn't cultivate rice next is domestication of animals they also domesticated some animals either for meat or for business purposes and they cultivated oxen buffaloes pigs etc all these goats sheep etc they have worshipped they have also domesticated next is trade as far as the economic activity so they made a lot of figurines they made a lot of uh, grain they used to export this to egypt babylon afghanistan etc okay this was a trade of uh, economic activity of indus people next they used to use some weights and measures in the market okay and these weights were in the multiples of 16 16 160 320 that's why 16 anas equal to 1 rupee is a concept derived from indus valley people only remember this 1 rupee is equals to 16 anas is derived from the concept of the brain from the brain of indus valley people only okay so they used to weights and they used to use weights and measures at that time only clear with this next is art of indus valley people so what type of art they used to do so sculptures in stone they used to engrave on stone like seals they used to make we have seen the pashupatanath seal right next sculpture in metal bronze dancing girl beard man all these right next sculpture in terracotta terracotta means fire baked earth and clay i've already told you when earth and clay is fire baked it will become tough so on that we can engrave some figurines so terracotta figurines of mother goddess all these were excavated at mahanjadaro this is a very best example next is pottery and painting they have developed the potter's wheel also okay this is a form of art and next is script they used to write some script till date the script is not deciphered so far we don't know the script of indus valley people we didn't derive anything from the script of indus valley people historians are on that their work only but we didn't decipher the indus valley script okay they had script you can see on the pashupatinath seal also but they had script but we cannot decipher the script of indus valley people next is the decline of indus valley civilization so how did indus valley people or indus valley civilization come to end so there are various reasons cited by various historians the first was the desert was expanding okay the neighboring desert was expanding into the fertile land and frequent floods were occurring in this indus valley people and earthquakes epidemics like diseases which 
spread from one place to another were ha happening and the rivers were changing its patterns so when the river changes its patterns people will not get for water for drinking as well as for cultivation or agriculture okay and uh, regular floods and Aryan invaders later Aryan invaders were killing some of the people of Indus Valley people so later the Aryan that is Vedic age will come after the Indus Valley civilization so these are some of the reasons for the decline of Indus Valley civilization so hope you have learned enough things in this topic we shall meet in the next sessions thank you